Tell me about uh, the recruitment hub and tell me about, you know, I mean, because I want to, you know, explore, because every now and again we see tribunals, perhaps less frequently now, where yeah. women in the city say, yeah. look, we've gone on maternity leave or something like that, or no, yeah. not even done that. We've been sidelined, yeah. we've been bullied, we've been yeah. given really inappropriate yeah. nicknames, yeah. things like that. I, I, yeah. Is that beginning to end? Is, is the city yeah. now a more welcoming place yeah. for, for female yeah. employees? Yeah, well, I think that's absolutely the right question, because, you know, while this kind of really overt sexism is really easy to call out, it's you know, it's very obvious and it's there. I think that, you know, the, the, I think the challenge that is being addressed, uh, you know, sort of, you know, across the city really is, is the sort of the death by a thousand cuts sexism, which is perhaps somewhat unconscious. And it's where you see, uh, you know, where, 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 where things need to move on to is to for organisations to have culture and a structure that supports women. So it gives them the opportunity to do really well and fulfil their potential. So, for example, working on the best deals, you know, getting the juiciest clients um, and, you know, having that chance to sort of, you know, climb up the ladder. And, you know, that, that's the sort of the, the perhaps sort of more hidden um, discrimination or sexism that, that is going on. Um, and, that, you know, but I think a lot of firms are trying really hard to address that. And, and not just, you know, employers in the city, but also, you know, the government with the Women in Finance Charter that came out, um, I think it was in sort of March last year. Uh, which asks, um, this, this was the charter that was the key recommendation from the Jane Angardia report, and that really asks all firms in the financial services sector to sign up to it and in doing so to agree mm. to uh, reach certain targets from but a gender I mean, I mean, the basic point on it though, Dominic, isn't it, which, which, which you know way better than me, is, is yeah. that, you know, you're not saying to, to companies here, well, you know, you might be breaking the law or it's the right thing to do. You can yeah. actually you know, offer them something on the bottom line, can't you, saying, you know, these are incredibly yeah. experienced people oh, yes. that you're ignoring. You know, yeah, it well, that... From the, yeah, gender is. Yeah, from a recruitment perspective, um, you know, there's, there was a, um, some of the evidence that was given to the Treasury Select committee last week uh, I think one of the quotes was that amongst employers 60% of men think that the reason that there is a lack of female talent in the city is because there is just an unavailability of talent and I can tell you that's absolutely not the case you know we work with uh, you know hundreds of extremely talented women who've um, you know taken sometimes relatively short time out of work or out of corporate world and while they've been out they've been doing all these amazing things setting up businesses doing trustee work studying whatever it might be or juggling busy family lives have an awful lot to offer um, employers in the city